Did he ever come across with any of that nonsense with you, mate? <laughs> No, but I'll tell you what, he's gripping listening now. Oh, I think, yes. I think he's a, just a, he was a fantastic, nothing like his image, you know, the tanned, um, you don't know about football, everybody thought this, that and the other, you know, just using his money, but he's so passionate and he's so knowledgeable. <laughs> and I, I have to say, he was brilliant for me. Yeah. Managers need support, not not when things are going well, when things aren't going well. And I, I remember after getting beat two or three at home one day, thinking about my position and him coming in and saying, uh, I said, well, what do you think? He said, you are the man. You're going to get us out of this and you're going to get on. And, and we did. Um, his support was super. So, I, I, you know, a lot of, lot of time for him. What was your first impressions, though, Neil, when you first met him? Well, we first we first met him having a slanging match. Uh, <laughs> he was in the Palace boardroom. I think I was at Sheffield United and um, we had a bit of a bust up in the boardroom and we, we, we remembered that. But he's like me. When I go out of the room, it's gone. I forget. I don't. Mm, yeah. You know, it, it's it, you move on, and uh, he remembered that. And he just asked me at a vulnerable time when I was going to retire all them years ago <laughs> when I left Sheff when Sheffield United. He uh, he just says, "Come down to Palace and have a look and help me out." Will you just have a look at what we need? And then within three weeks, I was in charge. So it, it was a great time. I never thought about London and to go down to Palace and them QPR, two great clubs atmosphere-wise. So Simon's, I've got a lot of time for him and his family. His dad's a great bloke as well. So, you know, it's, um, it's, I enjoy listening to the show.